Rodney Irwin, Tegu's only. And this is an Argentine black and white Tegu. Some of the ones that I capture from the wild population where I trap have this characteristic. I call it fire belly. But first and foremost, she is a black and white Tegu. Okay. Anthony! Now these are in South Florida. There was a breeding operation that released hundreds of them into the wild about 10 years ago. And now that population has grown to maybe 20,000 or more, and they're eating our natives. Uh, there's never been a threat to our natives as much as these takers. They will go into a nest, they eat eggs, and they will wipe out an entire generation when they feed. And over its lifetime, this animal will probably feed at least a hundred, possibly several hundred times. So we're talking several hundred generations of other animals, our natives, that are taken out by this guy. And it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They're just, uh, they didn't ask to be here. And they are non-natives, so they're being actively hunted and killed by the uh, officials in the state of Florida. It's their job to protect our natives. So I can understand that. I just try to find an alternative to killing these guys by bringing them to shows and capturing them and selling them to people that will take it home and give it a good life as a pet. Very smart. They came down like a dog. They like people. They like to be with other animals. There's just so many uh, uh, different aspects to the tegu over other reptiles. Ooh,